big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. I got a special one for you today. We sit down with Rock, the vice president of the Rough Riders, the double law. Demons roll hooks up with the Rough Riders and we get into it on this episode of Demons Roll TV. And no, oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today, Demons Row links up with the Rough Riders. Big shout to Rubia. She has hooked a lot of interviews up, so we have a lot coming. Shout to the Rough Riders for the love that they showed at the event. I had a great time and met so many good people. So shout to the double law and let's get into this interview. All right, Rock, thank you for sitting down with me. Um, I had to sit down with the double law because a lot of people don't know this about me, but I talk about it on the show a lot that growing up, I didn't see clubs. The first club that I ever saw was double law. Well, I'm from Jersey, from Perth Amway, New Jersey. And uh, Rough Riders, me, me and Rough Riders was literally an accident. Like, I literally was, was out in Brooklyn, bumped into somebody, we exchanged numbers, and he told me to come down to a Black Bike Week. I go to Black Bike Week. I go down, and I sit with a couple of them. I'm just chilling. Hang out with us. All right, what's up? I hang out with them down in Myrtle. And, you know, I come back up. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Jersey, they in Brooklyn. I meet with them back in Brooklyn, and they're like, yo, are you interested? I said, I love the family environment. The atmosphere is just something that, at the time, I just was like, wow. Like, there was nothing, there was nothing I could do wrong. There was nothing, anything I needed help with. They're like, yo, we got you. We got you. Don't worry about it. So I'm like, all right. Go ahead. I'm going to prospect with you guys. Went through the prospecting phase, and it was just family. It was, there was, there was never any animosity. There was never any, uh, damn, it's a new guy. It's a prospect. Nah. He's a prospect. Come here. Other chapters. Yo, come here. Let me holler at you. Let me, let me throw some knowledge in here. Let me me basically let me help you walk these roads smooth no bumps no problems never had an issue with anybody at other clubs i was with next generation rough riders next generation, next generation rough riders pretty much helped me help the guys that were that weren't from brooklyn I said listen we want to start something in jersey uh at first i was real hesitant because i was so used to that family like i wanted to stay with this family they yeah. said nah we want to grow our family and we don't have anything in jersey so see you later I'm like, all right, like, you sure? You're our guy. Let's go. Wow. They sent me out here, and then I'm already from Myers. It, was, it wasn't a problem for me to find people because I wasn't looking for them. The R itself attracts so much attention, just people, first thing you see is, oh, you know X? You know X? Yeah. I didn't know X at first. Yeah. But let's just say when I met X, everything that people say about him, it's real. So how close is the club to the actual, you know, Rough Riders? Because it's two sides to it, you know, the entertainment side. How close was the, the club to the to the actual, you know, DMX and the locks? All right. Let's just say the right way. X himself was, you can't, you can't put that man in words, what he actually did for the R and the actual person himself. When you actually met X, that was just... There was nothing fake about him. Yeah. Genuine to the core. Even if he didn't like you, my brother, don't worry about it. Just, if you was an R, my brother, come here. Let's do this, let's do that. Like, I I went to clubs with him. Yeah. I was in a club with him once, and he pretty much, we weren't dressed to get in. Y'all won't let them in? I'm not going there. They said, no, 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 hold on, hold on. How many people you got? Said, like 20 of us. They said, yeah. He stood at the door and watched every single person walking. And then some other people was like, yeah, we want to come to you too. He said, you know what? I want them too. Wow. Let's go. So he literally took every, like, it had to end up being like 40 people. Wow. Inside, in the club, up in VIP, chilling. And he just was like, yo, y'all have a good time. I'm like, whoa, I'm like, this, this is a, this is a, a megastar. Yeah. And he literally 
embrace us as if we were on his on his level, which was something that I'm not a starstruck starstruck person. I'm like, what the fuck's with dude? Like yeah. he's 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 genuine. He was genuine, very genuine. His influence on on the culture, like the Rough Riders, what they did, like I didn't see a lot of clubs like on where I'm from, like in New York. I didn't see a lot of clubs till Rough Riders really got popping, and then you started seeing like a lot more clubs later on down the line right. start opening up. Like that rush at that time, it was it was crazy. Like you guys were expanding at such a fast rate, right? Like, yeah, um, yeah. We, we literally were from at the time. This is back in like oh five oh six. It's been three or four chapters. Next thing you know, wow. And but that's that's just in New York. Yeah. I'm not talking about, we had chapters in Atlanta, we got chapters in Jersey, we had chapters in Chicago, we have chapters literally worldwide. Yeah. We have chapters literally in just about every damn state, literally. How big they are, depends on their market. So, the rush, it wasn't, it was, I don't think it was anything that we, we didn't, like we predicted it to an extent. Yeah. Because we saw, people want in, people want in. But, let's just be honest. People, they, they didn't know what the hell is a rough ride. They're thinking, yeah. they're thinking we're instantly just all entertainment. Nah, yeah. Nah, like, like these these were, these we are actual riders. Yeah. We're riders. I mean, we, we damn near mirror the, the MC set. Yeah. But we do move a slightly different. We're yeah. not, we're not conformed to the same rules as, as 1% everybody else. But we mirror them so much that at times people get confused. Yeah. Well, I get blurred so they think, oh yeah, you you an MC is like I'm not necessarily an MC with a lifestyle. What's a lifestyle? We got different moving parts. We got cars, we got bikes, we got dogs, we have the entertainment division, pretty much. Oh, so okay. it's like there's so many different parts, like where you lie at in it, that's get in get in where you fit in. So there's a humbleness too because you guys got so big at a at a time. Why was it never like, all right, well, we're going to throw an MC. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Like, you guys stayed true to who you were, you know, and it just expanded, exploded everywhere, you know? In my in my eyes, not everybody's built to be a 1% or, or to be an MC. Yeah. So, therefore, stay in your lane. Yeah. And that lane, the lane that we created for people, is the lane that we stayed in. Yeah. Some people started to venture out of it. If you ventured out of it, if this ain't for you, peace be to you. Go ahead. Yeah. Go somewhere else, but it never. I'm not gonna change how I feel towards you. I'm, your love, the love I give to you is gonna be the same. You change your cut, okay, cool. That was, that was my man before, and that's my man afterwards. That's it. So how how would someone that is interested in, in becoming a rough rider like what would that process be like for somebody like what would they have to do if they met you and they wanted to they fill in the movement and they want to be involved? My chapter, how we run, pretty much. If you come across me. I'm me. Per, you're, I'm the first person you're gonna run into. I'm gonna fill you out immediately. I'm gonna let you know whether yeah, maybe it's not for you. But I'm not gonna sit there. I'm not gonna let it be my decision. My chapter speaks for me. We all yeah. speak for each other. So therefore, I'm gonna bring you around. Let's help people see you. After that, what y'all think? He's yeah, all right. or she's all right. Cause we take male or females. We, we don't discriminate. There's no oh, can't do any, can't do any females. No. So bring them in. After that kind of just slide them off with the project manager handle and stuff like that and then after that it's you work them in or not nah, it's the same for you so people always ask me like what's the biggest club in the world and I always default say Rough Riders but I know there's no real way to really say it but you guys are are you guys in more countries than any other club I don't want to I don't want to lie and say you yes yeah but I would assume just yeah. because of like I said, everybody sees us ours, ours, it's worldwide. Yeah. There's no, oh, I, I've never seen a Rough Rider. Okay, now you got it. And then all of a sudden you turn around and you see one here, you see one, I didn't even know you guys are here. Yeah, we here. And all of a sudden, them, we here turns into, damn, it's a lot of y'all here. Yeah. yeah. So, who of the, like, out of Jada, Styles, all of them, who out of them actually ride? Does any of them ride? I know I seen a picture of DMX on a bike one time, but... Did DMX, he? DMX, DMX can ride. I, I'll leave it at that. He can ride. Yeah. He can ride. It started pretty much through our... Through the entertainment. It started through the entertainment. The guys... Why? 
D, Y, Siobhan. Those are our, those are our heads. Those are the heads that the ones you usually see. The yeah. one you see most is Y. Y pretty much he's in the forefront of all that. And they pretty much grab some guys, grab some guys on bikes, uh let's see, Wink Lever Hundred, Yayi, um uh Supermax, who's one of my mentors. Actually, yeah. he's one of the guys that when I came in, he literally embraced me and was like, I got you. Okay, you got me. Let's go. Yeah. So grab them. Scorpio also. Grab them and they pretty much ran with X. They ran with X and ran they ran with the other entertainers and they already went. Any any city they went to, they see the bikes, the bikes come on, they tear it up and they like, Wow, I I want in. I want and in. There's no requirement, right, for the type of bike. Is there a requirement that I don't believe it's a requirement on what type of bike. It's yeah. Because like, you can you can find somebody that rides a two fifty to ride better than somebody on a one thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's a skill level. Can you ride? I've I've seen rough riders out in like California and stuff like that. They I've seen a whole bunch of them out there. Like, do you guys constantly are like going to state stuff since it's so national? The club, are you always on like this this state that state? Like, is there always like something going on because there's so many like different chapters or is that what how you would pronounce it like a chapter? Yeah, some chapter. yeah. We um every month. Every month we have something going on. So every month we can mess around and go to a different state to see what their annual their annual event is. They have yeah. a weekend event, go check them out. And it's just like was it next month? Next month we got something in Virginia. Oh okay. Down in Virginia. After that, I think I don't know October. October I believe it's something in Florida. Oh okay. So and then in November, one of our, our one of our chapters, Essex County chapter, they're having an event. So that's three months in a row. We're going somewhere else, and that's and that's just I'm only speaking of one chapter. There's multiple chapters within the state, so they can be you can end up visiting one state three four times within within probably two months. Wow! If you if you up for the travel, this shit ain't cheap. Obviously. Yeah. What do you think about finding brotherhood? In a, in a lifestyle, in a club setting, because I talk with a lot of my brothers and some feel that you can still find it, some feel like it's, it's like a fallacy, like brotherhood is like a dream. Like, what do you think about that? What do you think about brotherhood and like real brotherhood? Real brothers go through ups and downs. And if you can't be there for them when they down, I don't know. Because right now, my team, my guys, I mean like, point, I, mean, I got one of my guys here. The rest of my, chap- rest of my chapters out there. Ain't nothing I wouldn't do for any of them, regardless yeah. of how I feel at that time or whatever. If you if you're part of my chapter, you're one of my brother. You're one of my knuckleheads. So therefore, you down, I'm down with you. We gonna pick you up. We gonna get up. We gonna figure it out. There's, there's no there's no fallacy on oh there's no brother. No, here it is. Speak your mind and we'll get and we'll get through. And that's it. How has it been navigating like with with opening up chapters? Is that like a struggle? Like, because a lot of clubs struggle with that opening up in different places. The fact that you're such a, like, national club, it you know, there's clubs that they open up and they can't open up. You know, like, they're trying, they try to do it the right way, and they can't. And you guys have expanded globally. Like, what is that journey like, like, opening a charter, like, a like for Double R? Like? Pretty much, usually, the people that establish chapters in Double R are people that are from the community, from Whatever, whatever area it is. So therefore, they already have some sort of, I don't want to use the word stain, but they got some sort of reputation to where when they see you, like, oh, you with them, that's, that's your team? All right, cool. In Jersey, yes, we do have outlaw clubs. We have other MCs, but everybody's good here. Everybody's like, yo, that's what you're doing? All right, cool. There's no, oh, you have to, you got to come to us. Nah, it's, it's more or less, we support everybody. Yeah. So as long as we supporting everybody, don't nobody look at us and like, oh, well, you just mess with the 1% or you just mess with the MCs. Nah, everybody get, everybody get love from us. Yeah. So there's no pick a side. Nah, don't do that. I see you've done that very well, too, is be able to be anywhere and not be able to, like, some people are forced to take a side. And you guys have just like, yo, this is what we do right here. We're not involved with, you know, like the politics stuff. So I do respect that, you know. Mm-hmm. Is that tough sometimes? It must be like ups and downs sometimes, right? There are, depending, de- depending on certain areas, certain clubs want to, they want to flex a little bit. Yeah. But it's more or less, you respectfully sit there and talk and we work things out. So there's no, is 
we ain't, we don't have to worry about that out here. Yeah. You know saying? We we have we have the right people in place to sit down and be like, listen, we're gonna talk through this, we're gonna work it out. It's not that serious. We yeah. get it. We, we respect we respect your lane and we respect our lane. You respect ours, you respect yours, we good, we can ride next to each other, we good. No problems. So So I see like when you guys do the group rides, you guys are like wheeling in, doing all the like craziest stuff. Is that like a requirement? Like you gotta get your skills up to Definitely gotta get your skills up right. Definitely got to ride. Not everybody's built to be a stunner. So, therefore, you're not going to see everybody out there wheeling at 120 or even slow wheeling and circling. And we have some We have some of the best guys out there. I mean, I've, I've literally hung out with, I mean, I hung out with, like, we have Romel. We have Romel at one point. We have Warren James. We have Jay Beast. And, and those are people on the West Coast. Yeah. And I've actually actually been around, uh, was it Bulo? I've hung out with them out there on the West Coast. I've actually been out there in L.A. when they've actually shut down the highway. Wow. Like I've never, so I got a part. I've never seen bikes just line up, and they said, "Listen, we got five minutes." What you mean? Five? How you know we got five minutes? We got five. Out in L.A. Didn't L.A. Didn't open. Shut down. Just straight up shut down the highway. Piss everybody off behind us. <laughs> Why guys in front is stunting. They were wheeling on the highway. On the highway. Wow. Street highway. Look it up. You can find it. I'm yeah, sure. I've seen. I've seen. I've, I've I've been there. You guys, yeah, you guys would be like. Eight, eight rows, ten rows, and everybody's, Stop. nobody's going down. Like, everybody's just doing crazy shit. Like, yeah. I'm not like me. I ain't, I ain't no stunner. You want to ride? We can ride. Yeah. But William, yeah. 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 Now, I'm with you. I'm, I'm on my old man, Harley. I'm, I'm riding clean. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Like, nah, I ain't, I ain't about that. I ain't cross over to that. I'm still, I'm still on the cross rocket, but I, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't do it just yet. Yeah, I'm still, I still got that that itch for that speed. Yeah, so yeah. It's just it's hard, right? So now. how is it when you guys are um, like going somewhere like on a trip? Because you, I see you got like Harley's out there, but then you got street bikes. I know the street bikes is like y'all too moving too slow. Like how do you? Nah, when we when we ride in a group, pretty much everything is established before we leave. Hey, listen, we sticking in formation. We getting down here. We are gonna be at a good pace. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Now you have some knuckleheads. They'll ask like, yo. Can we Go ahead, step out. You want to yeah. step out the formation? Step out the formation. Do what you do, but this formation is not going to break. It's not. We're not messing up just for you want to act up. There's no acting up in formation. You want to do all that? Get out. Get out the formation. Go ahead. Get oh, it, okay. So they're not allowed to do it in, in no. a formation? No. While so when formation, those videos that I see where it's like a whole bunch of people and they're all stunting at the same time. They, they, are, they are already, those are the stunners. They already know what they're going to do. Oh, okay. They come so out I like set that. up for that. We come oh, out, we're going to okay. tear it up. They'll have, they'll have a couple people stun, and you see guys behind them just staying back, keeping everybody away from them. Yeah. Letting them do what they do. That's it. So tell me what the club is about. Like, what is Rough Riders about? You guys do a lot for the community. Tell me about that aspect. I mean, we're, we're definitely a family. So, therefore, the community, if we're not taking care of the community, we ain't doing it right. So we're out there. We have done, we've actually went out and we've done pick up stuff for the homeless. We went out, actually went to the train stations and actually passed out things to the homeless people. We've actually done, uh, we went to school, actually, school for, wow. Like, I'm actually talking about myself, how long I've been around. We've actually done talent shows at the, back in 2000, like 2006, 2007, we did a talent show over at Woolbridge High School just to actually help them raise money, as in general, just to raise money for the community. Like, hey, listen, we'll throw it. We had a couple people come in. We did that. We do the highway cleanups. We, uh, actually, we actually have a, was it Route 27? Route 27. Route, 20, Route 27. It's for Central Jersey Rough Riders. So, and our, our other chapters do the same thing. So it's, like, we're out, like, we out there. We, we'll do anything that helps support the community. Right now, we have a, we have a donation box out front for our fallen member, uh, Tyria 411. Her first grandson was born not too long after situation happened with her uh -huh. and so therefore we support our family in pretty much everything and anything they do so they're they're actually out there right now too that's so, love right there so it's like yeah like when we when we say she will never be forgotten there's there's not a date like on my facebook page that's my that's my picture it's me and her because she she brought so much to our chapter in general because it's just certain genuine people they're hard to find yeah so when they come around, they actually just bring this, 
it's light and it's a spirit and it's just like damn where, where have you been in life yeah and when and when she was around speaking of Tyrina so we're gonna talk about it when she was around there was no ain't no ain't no frowning ain't no oh I'm feeling down get up I got you yeah she was a light she was she was everybody's light yeah so if you knew her it was a blessing yeah and it was just so being that right now we are celebrating the justice that was got to her justice that was got for her and everything else is just like uh yeah, it can't be a down moment. Yeah, we won't, we won't let it be. So every year we celebrate. So I guess I'm. This is gonna be my thing that I bring up at every interview. But I was telling Tank about it from Llama, about an uh, idea that I have of like, you know how like the rucker is set up. I saw that. You saw that. I saw that. And like, I'm so that, I don't think they can beat us though. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm. Listen. I'm. I'm. I'm a very competitive person. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if y'all want to see us on the softball, we there. Yeah. Basketball, we get some people for you. It might not be me myself, but I'm just saying, I'm I'm all about friendly competition. Yeah, that would be dope. I'm listen. If you want to, if you want to call a Tank and let him know, I mean, I'd definitely grab some people for some softball. Yeah, I, I mean, love to If you want to do, do it before the end of the year, <laughs> we have to work on that. Cause you know, we gotta get our. You gotta make sure everybody ranked. My baseball game is tight. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying I can swing the bat. It's no problem. Pun intended. But I'm just saying. Yeah, but um, I wanted to do that. Like I actually like you're kind of expanding on the idea I had because then then we could do that for fun. But I was thinking of like you know when you like like 13, 14, and everybody starts getting locked up or getting in trouble at that time. That's the time right there where I feel like if we had like a Rough Rider team and they playing the Demons Road team or they playing the Llama team and we're sponsoring these kids and instead of them, because like when I play Little League, my moms couldn't always afford to, to pay for the Little League. Right. So if we have our own teams, you know what I mean? We just get the equipment or whatever and they play each other and we make it like a rucker, like our team, we make a friendly competition. Yeah, hey, Forest Park is right there. A Forest Park, yeah. I know a couple people over there. Yeah. And if, and if need be, pretty sure we can get get the space, get the space to do it. We can bring the kids in. We can bring the kids in and do that too. Yeah. I'm, I'm all about family. Yeah, so we're gonna build on that, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you.